I don't know about you guys, but growing up, I was a Barbie girl, and it totally has not overflowed into my adult life. We've done this once before, but today we are going to be decorating dorm rooms, but every room is a different Barbie movie. In The Sims 4, obviously. Welcome everyone to Barbie University. We are going to be decorating five dorm rooms today, but we're gonna need a little bit of help from the Wheel of Names. Without further ado, let's just get to spinning. Barbie in the Nutcracker. Fun fact, Barbie in the Nutcracker was actually the first ever animated Barbie movie. I think just first Barbie movie in general. So looking at our little vision board here on Pinterest, obviously the Nutcracker is a ballet. So the aesthetic is very ballet inspired. It's also a little bit Christmassy. So maybe we'll lean into that a little bit, but I think we're going to take inspiration from this little board here, like wintry, Christmassy, and baby pink. I think we're going to go with this pink wallpaper from the pastel pop kit because it is just the perfect like ballet slipper pink and for floors I think I'm just gonna go with a white wood for windows I think I'm just gonna go with these ones from Strangerville and I have the perfect bed in mind and that is this bed here I think I'm also just gonna pair it with the matching bedside tables from high school years and I would like to get some pink fancy looking curtains as well and I'm just adding these curtains sized down we don't have that much dance related stuff in the sims 4 we have a dance floor that I could add but we'll just see because dance floor to me doesn't really scream ballet. We don't have like any like ballet slippers or anything, but we do have a nutcracker. I think I might go for like this white one here to kind of like match our theme a little bit better, even though I know that the nutcracker is red with gray hair, but this nutcracker does have gray hair. So is it a compromise? Can we compromise? I feel like we can. I think I would like to do a little fireplace in this corner here because I think like a little fireplace, a little like Christmas tree could be super cute and kind of make our our Christmas vibe a little bit more noticeable. This one's cute. I always forget what the Christmas trees are called in The Sims 4, so I always have to like search by pack. We put our little nutcracker right there. I also had another nutcracker, but he has disappeared. Oh, there he is. Put the Christmas tree right here. And I think a TV above the fireplace could also be cute. So she can watch TV in bed. We could also put like a little couch or something like right here. I don't know. Might be, might be, what the, what? <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Maybe we switch around the layout of the room or put it in the corner. Okay, that works. Now I feel like we have a little bit more space to add a little living room area. I think I'm gonna go with this little couch here. Okay, our little living room area is looking cute. Let's actually grab us a door before I forget. I later on wanna add some of these as just like a reference to the sugar plum fairy. I don't really know where I wanna add them yet, but I do wanna add these somewhere. Let's grab her a little dresser and vanity and like all that fun stuff. I like this dresser here. I feel like that works. Ooh, actually maybe this would be better if we put it at the end of the bed here. Yeah, that looks cute. And then over here we could have a little vanity for her. Ooh, I actually like this mirror better. I feel like it's more fancy. A little ottoman over here as well. Ooh, we could put these little fairies on the dresser here by her bed. Cute. Do we have a snow globe? We do. It's not very snow globey, but it is a snow globe nonetheless. Cute. I want to add some posters on this wall here and look at that. Uh, this is like the only ballet thing we seem to have. Maybe I'll put it next to the nutcracker because it's, it's literally as tall as him. That's actually kind of funny. And I feel like we should also decorate up the walls a little bit with these like snowflake stickers. Like that could be a cute touch. Put some little posters on the wall. I'm going to look on the gallery and see if I can find any ballet items or pictures or anything like that. Okay, cute. I found a little bit of artwork that I like. I might add some more later. I do want to add in a mirror here because in ballet studios a lot of the time they have those like big floor to ceiling mirrors like so. Off camera I did a little bit of cluttering so I think that means we're all done. Our Barbie in a Nutcracker dorm room. I think it turned out super cute. It's very like pink Christmas which is pretty much exactly what I was going through or you know Barbie Christmas. I really like how it turned out. Let's move on to our next room which is going to be for Barbie Thumbelina. So it's it's been a while since I've seen any of these movies, so I'm reading up a little bit on Thumbelina. And basically the premise is about obviously Thumbelina and her like colony, like the group of people, they're called Twiller Bees and they live amongst flowers and their flowers get stolen and taken to the city. And that's basically the story. Sorry if that was a horrible retelling. This Barbie movie is definitely different than the rest of them. It was like one of the later Barbie movies in like 2009. So maybe they were taking a little bit of a risk or a, I don't 
don't know what the word is, but I think the animation is cool. It's like similar, but different. I immediately, when I was reading about it, I thought of tulips. So this is definitely going to be a big part of the room. Flowers, nature. Thumbelina wears actually a lot of pinky purples. So we're probably going to lean more into that rather than super hot pink like normal. Oh, well now I'm confused. It's like a cool toned pink basically. Okay. Oh, it's, <laughs> did this come out around the same time as Tinkerbell? 2008 film. I see you, Barbie. I, I see you. However, with our inspiration here, let's just get started on our room. So I'm thinking our main colors are probably going to be pinky purples and greens. So first let's find a wallpaper that I like. Ooh, I feel like I kind of want to do this wallpaper. Maybe we'll keep it as an option. I also like this as just like a basic wallpaper. Could we maybe do like an accent wall of this like pinky purple and then the rest be this color? Yeah, I think that's cool. And for the floors, maybe we'll do white. I might change it later. And I want some big windows to bring in lots of light. One here, one here. As for a bed, it might be a little bit difficult to find a pinky purple bed. I guess we'll see. This could work because it also has like the butterflies on it. I feel like it's kind of a vibe. I do want to start adding in a little bit of green. I think I'm going to add in that like mossy looking rug from the high school years pack. Yeah, I'm going to add it as like a big rug in the middle. It looks a little bit weird. Please stick with me. Maybe trust the process. I don't know. I want to get like a big mirror like so and add a little ottoman in front of it. Oh, we need a door. <gasps> this one has butterfly wings on it. Oh, it was, it was made for Thumbelina's room. We need those butterfly decorations, question mark, I think on the wall immediately. It might be a little bit too busy on this wall. So maybe we add them over here and we can add some more later as well. Ooh, what is this? How do I kind of want to add it on the wall? Is this weird? I can't tell. Maybe that's weird, but like maybe we could do something like that. Like something like this where it's like overgrown or something. I don't really know how to describe my vision here. Maybe, maybe we'll come back to it. I do want to add these little vines in the windows though. I think that they would be really cute and bring in a little bit more of that earthy green that we need. I'm also going to use those fairy statues again that we used in the Barbie and the Nutcracker room. <gasps> right here would be perfect. Cute. I think I want to put a dresser at the end of her bed as well. I'm just going to add this one right here. I feel like a little reading nook type corner could be cool because I don't really think this room should have a TV. That just doesn't feel right. Ooh, this one is perfect. Why do I kind of want to add this in here? I don't know why, but I just have the urge to. Is it weird? Is it a little random? Yeah, I think so, but I feel like it's kind of cool. I think I've started something that I can't stop. I can't tell if that looks weird or if it's a vibe. We'll leave it for now. Maybe I'll get rid of them later. Maybe I'll decide I hate them or something. However, I do think we need to add a little mushroom chair instead of our little stacked pillows because fairy mushroom, they go hand in hand. There's a certain plant that I want as well. It's like a little pot that has a mushroom in it. Aha, here it is. Put it right over here. There's also this plant that I want to use. It's like a barrel of tulips. Here is that barrel of tulips. I want to put two. Cute. I'm not sure. I think I want to add a bookshelf there. I don't know why, but I just do. Like this one from Realm of Magic. I could add that. Maybe in this corner we add some like lanterns and such. And I'm going to fill it up with some flowers because it will just look better that way, honestly. Cute. And add this little watering can in between them. Maybe put this on the wall beside it as well. Cute. I finished up our Thumbelina room off camera and I actually ended up switching the flooring to this like grass meadow looking one because I just think it's more fitting. I also added a sky. <laughs> However, I think this room turned out super cute, but you guys can let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments down below. Let's move on to our next dorm room. Who's it gonna be for? Barbie as Rapunzel. I'm pretty sure I had a book of Barbie as Rapunzel, but I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure I did. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Tangled. I'm just a huge fan of Rapunzel in general. Always have been. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so obviously castle vibes. She's a painter. I see lots of like shrubbery. I see some like fancy windows, a chandelier. It's like a pinky purple vibe. Somehow we got to incorporate this cursed dragon. And I, what is this, a bunny? This bunny is absolutely terrifying. What was, I don't know what Barbie was doing back in the day, but that ish was terrifying. Anyways, I think I kind of got our vibe that we're going to go for. So let's just get right into it. Do I want to do like castle walls? What do we have for brick? Ooh, this could be a vibe though, as like an 
accent wall or something like this could be cool too. I think I like this one better. And maybe the rest of the walls could be like a light pinky purple. Yeah. And the floors, I think, I don't even know. They look kind of tile-y to me. I might just do a wood, honestly. I feel like that's just going to be easier. Do something like so. Okay, windows. I want something a little fancy. That is really cute. I kind of want like a window to look out of. That's what windows are for. Oh, these windows are cool. They're really small though. I wish they were larger. Okay, this is kind of a vibe. It's kind of giving castle. I think we're gonna have to get rid of that butterfly window. I'm so sorry. We need a bed before we continue. They get something purple again or like pinky purple. Maybe something like this. It's a little bit more pink than I would like to go for, but I feel like it matches the whole like castle theme that we've got going on. So I think I'm gonna go with it. Over here, I'm gonna add a fireplace. I feel like it kind of looks like that one. I'm gonna go with that. I'm thinking we put some of these down. I'm thinking like two of them could be cool. Maybe add another two of my little windows here. Maybe even a third. Where do I wanna add her easel? Maybe over here. Definitely gotta go with this one. I love this one. And it looks like she actually has a little stool in front of her easel as well. So I am gonna give her a little stool. I wanna find some artwork that we can add for painting. These ones are perfect. We use these ones for Rapunzel's room as well, but they're just really, they're too perfect. Beautiful. And she has like a bunch of paintings on the walls and on the floor, which we should definitely add. I kind of think I want to give her like a hidden bookshelf door since she's supposed to be kind of like locked away in the tower. So I'm going to give her this hidden bookshelf door. Give her a little dresser over here. And we can also put a mirror beside it. I feel like the door kind of blends in nicely. Throwing up her paintings on the wall over here. Ooh, we should add these drying racks over here. And these also, we definitely need them. I have an idea. I'm going to remove this wall here and this here. So it's like a potted plant it's like hanging off of the fireplace here. Yeah, that looks cool. You definitely need more plants than that, but that's a start. I finished up our room off camera and here is our Rapunzel room all complete. I really like how it turned out. I couldn't find a purple dragon, but this one is blue and the bunny is purple. So I don't know. I just wanted to add a bunny and a dragon as like a reference to her pets. I think it's super cute. I don't think it's the most accurate to what her room actually looks like, but I think she would like it. Let's move on to our next room. Barbie of Swan Lake. Barbie of Swan Lake is actually the third Barbie movie. And I'm pretty sure it's about a girl that dances in an enchanted forest and turns into a swan. The room is going to be less pink than the others, I'm thinking, and more like mystical, magical. This drawing is so beautiful. Wow. A little swampy as well. Maybe we'll take some inspiration from our Thumbelina room. Let's get decorating. I kind of want to use the same floor that we used for in the Thumbelina room. And I kind of want to use that, like, you know, the pond that we have. Yeah, this one. Well, this feels necessary to me, honestly. Do we have like swans? <gasps> we do. I don't know if they're gonna work though. Okay, so there are swans. I'm starting to feel like they're too big though. Can I make them smaller? Is that a thing I can do? No, but there are swans. Poorly decorated? Well, that is very rude. Our sim is being so rude. Poorly decorated. That's rude. Anyways, let's get back to building. What should we do for wallpaper? Maybe this wallpaper? Yeah, I mean, why not? What are we gonna do for a bed. I feel like we need to do a single bed almost because it's like so cramped in here all of a sudden. Like I'm not the one that put in a pond with two ginormous swans. Why are the swans so big? Like I feel like the swan swan to sim size comparison is a bit strange, but I, I don't know. I haven't been that close to a swan in a, in a while. Can't remember the last time I saw one. I'm thinking we do this bed just to make sure that we have some more room and we do need windows. What kind of window? I don't really know. Oh, we need one singular window window. Okay. I feel like I want to add this butterfly window. I don't really know what else to do for windows. We only have the one wall here for windows. So maybe we do this fancy window and then we could put like that little log item in front of it. Okay. It's interesting. It's, it's looking like something. That's for sure. The door, I think I'm going to use this one because it's like woodsy. Yeah. We have like a potted tree maybe that could work. No trees, but I mean, we have these little cute things 
movies so i guess i could add those this movie also has stuff to do with ballet so should we add some ballet stuff as well i don't know i don't know what i want to do with this room this room is confusing me i don't even know what else to add in here i guess i could do artwork uh, i don't know this picture here is perfect it almost looks like the swan lake put a little bow i don't know i'm just putting things in this room at this point i'm gonna put these little trellises behind the pond here as well i feel like that's kind of cute add in here mm, we could i guess put a desk over here i feel like anything that we put down at this point is like odd because of how the room looks but i mean we need some stuff in here i think i'm just gonna try to fill up as much space as possible because i think adding like a desk and stuff is just gonna be weird do we have a dresser of any kind that wouldn't look weird yeah they're all gonna look weird no dresser she can use someone else's dresser little flowers i'm gonna put these little lanterns here and over here i think i'm gonna give us a sky roof as well and with some off-camera cluttering here is our barbie of swan lake room it's a bit funky i will admit but the swans are cool look at them little you know paddling around i like this little window area i think it's my favorite i did really just not know what to add for this room so forgive me if you think it's horrible i wanted to try something different yeah let's move on to our last and final room hopefully we get a good one barbie in a mermaid tail so barbie in a mermaid tail is all about barbie and she is a competitive surfer and i believe she finds out that her mother is a mermaid and then she becomes a mermaid i'm pretty sure that's the premise of the movie but obviously the room's gonna be very beachy lots of pink i love barbie's hair in this movie it is so iconic and the song that goes along with this movie i cannot play it for you know copyright reasons but you know it it absolutely slaps. This is a great board for us to go up on. So let's take this as inspiration and get started on our room. I think I kind of want the walls of the room to be like a aqua blue, like so. And then maybe we can get like a shiplap accent wall, like so. And then maybe can we get a floor to match? Perfect. And I want some really big open windows to bring in as much light as possible. I think like this could be cool. On this wall, maybe we can just put two windows like this that and i want like a hot pink bed i don't know how i'm gonna like match the pink and the blue but i'm gonna try my best okay i feel like that's kind of a vibe or we could go for this bed yeah maybe we go with this one from island living we unfortunately don't have any surfboards in this game i really don't know why we just don't this is the only surfboard-esque item that we have so i'm gonna throw it just in the corner here and we have like absolutely zero mermaid stuff the only mermaid thing that we have is this scroll of a mermaid's tail and it's just not gonna fit into this room so i'm not even gonna bother however we could probably find some cool mermaid stuff on the gallery i just spent forever searching in debug for this freaking starfish but isn't it so cute it looks like a pillow i used it when we did our ursula bedroom i want to add some more hot pink in this room so i think i want to add some fun curtains i added these pink curtains to bring in more of that hot pink and i think it really does help i also think i want to get us a pink carpet to go under the bed Ooh. okay Okay, perfect. I really don't know what else I want to add in this room. I'm thinking maybe a little hangout area over here. You can add like this couch over here with like something to do over here. Maybe a guitar. Does she play the guitar? She's Barbie. I'm assuming she sings at least. Yeah, I'm not loving any of the activities. I'm thinking maybe we add a bookshelf. I don't know at this point. <laughs> I feel like that's a vibe. Out of these cute little lanterns, I think we should also add maybe a little dresser under the window here or maybe right here. We can put like that fun squiggly water mirror above it. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I feel like this doesn't match actually. I like that one a little bit better. Definitely need to add a little shell as decoration. Oh, and of course the shell chair. Off camera, I finished off the room and here is our Barbie in a mermaid tail. Room all complete. This one was a hard one for me, but I think it turned out all right. However, with our Barbie and a Mermaid Tale room all complete, that means that we have completely finished our Barbie dorms. I think my favorite of today is probably Thumbelina, but you guys should let me know in the comments down below which one of these rooms was your favorite. If you like today's build and want to download it for yourself, you can find it on the gallery under these hashtags or my gallery ID is just Ryo Sim. For this build specifically because of the paintings that I used off the gallery, it is marked as 
custom content even though there is none. So you're gonna have to check that little include custom content box when you're searching for it. I also uploaded the individual dorm. So if you want those as well, they are there. If you're still here, thank you so, so much for watching all the way till the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and do all that YouTube stuff. And comment down below whichever room's a different blank you wanna see me do next. I love getting your guys' suggestions. So please, please, please tell me what you wanna see. Make sure to go check out the description to find all the links to my social medias like my TikTok, my Instagram, and my Twitch where I stream twice a week. So come hang out with us there. And with that all being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye.